Hi there, my name is Mike Phillips and uh, today I sh hope to show you a very quick tutorial on screen sharing in Manicam. So once you've downloaded Manicam, you'll notice the little black live preview mode here and at the bottom is the Manicam.com logo. So most people don't use it because of this. There's actually a very quick and easy way to shut that off. If you go into effects and then up uh, to text over video, down here at the bottom there is a show Manicam logo. If you uncheck that, it uh, will disappear even though it warns you. So it's gone and you won't see it in your live view on your side and you won't see it on the uh, Hangout window on the other side. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to load your capture application. In my case I'm using Sequence Generator Pro and I have a little sample image loaded here. Once you've done that, toggle back to Manicam and then go to your sources window. In sources choose desktop and then this little icon here with the mouse cursor on it allows you to set a custom area. So when you click that and then move your Manicam window out of the way, well this is tricky on my screen resolution here but right about here is where I want my screen share application window. So oh, let's do this the better way here. Grab the Manicam window and uh, move it as far away as you can so that you can sort of see the window underneath it. Now go ahead and click the custom capture application area again and then set one corner for where you want it. I see a nice dark area here for my capture application. And grab the other corner and drag it down. Now there might be some optimization that can be done for the screen resolution in the Hangout. Now the Hangouts are in HD but uh, this gets you pretty close. Then when you set OK what it lacks in my eyes is a little reference frame for what is actually being shared. So you've got to either use little sticky notes on the monitor or just try to remember where you had set it. Then you can minimize your Manicam and get it out of the way. Manicam will show as a source in the Hangout windows or in any other capture application. Um, and what you'll see though is if you, uh, if you have enough screen real estate you'll see the live preview mode here and uh, as I move it out of the way you see the window I want to share behind it. So uh, so that you can see in the video I, I reduce my resolution down but normally it would be a lot more and you'll have some screen real estate to kind of panel things around. Now the one neat thing about Sequence Generator Pro is there's a view option here and uh, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom and stretch. So if you select stretch and then you can uh, use the mouse wheel to make it brighter too bright, right? And you can dim it back down. I mean, these are all things that you see in the live view, in the Hangout, or, or in your sharing application. And then you can toggle to zoom. You say, oh, let's look at these cool little dark uh, dust lanes here. And you can look at the dust lanes. And then you can grab it with the left mouse button and drag it around. And you can say, oh, that's very neat, but it's a little too washed out. So we reduce it, you know, go back to stretch, drag the, that back down. I think this is a simple um, uh, linear stretch algorithm. But uh, I, I like the ability in Sequence Generator Pro to be able to capture and share and look at what I'm doing at the same time. So that's my tutorial, just a quick getting started on things. I hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope to see you in more tutorials. Thanks, and have a great day.